Hey there guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Now today I'm going to be showing you how you can um, just basically create smooth slow motion. Uh, I believe the name for it is ramped slow mo. Um, if you take a look at this here, if I hit shift B, like one thing, uh, people are like saying shift B doesn't work. Uh, it could be to do with your processor or you want to make sure you don't have it on best full. Otherwise, it will only render a couple of seconds. So, uh, best auto. Basically, the lower quality it is, the further it will go through. So, if I have it on good auto, and hit Shift B, and I'll receive an email from YouTube. Great. So, I'm just rendering it out here. That is good enough. Okay, it won't stop. Let's just play it through. As you see there, it's fast, and all of a sudden it slows down uh, pretty much, and it's not very smooth, and it just cuts straight into it rather harsh. Whereas if I start to render this here, if I hit Shift B, uh, it takes a long time with my computer. Nearly halfway. Nearly. Just an intro I made the other day with a tutorial. Uh, hit Space. If you play it, you see that it slowly builds up to going fast and then slowly goes into the slow mo. Now you can make this more dramatic uh, by using these little intervals separating them out, but we'll get onto that in a second. This is often you. I think this was used in the um, film 300. I'm sure most of you have seen that, but it's probably not how they've done it, but it's a way how to interpret it. So anyway, let's just delete everything. Have your video in. I'm just going to apply some faded color correction. Don't know why, but anyway, there you go. And what you want to do is you want to have it selected so it's blue. And go to Insert Video Envelopes or Envelopes and go to Event Velocity. Now you see that brings up a green bar on your video. Basically, if you lift it up, it will speed it up. And you'll see that it brings in these little indents at the top here. Now this is basically, if you speed it up by hitting Control and dragging it down, it will... It's basically not very uh, as smooth as this method, and it will just cut to black. It will basically shorten the clip, whereas here it basically will just repeat itself after. That's that's the sign of that. So it comes back in. So then, if you lower it, it will just separate. It will go further out. But what we're going to do is we're going to start start in the middle. The middle is a hundred percent. There we go. And if you double click on the green line. It will create another little box, so it's going to start to just speed up. Now it's not it's going to be the same for a while. Double click there, and it's going to start to speed up then. And then just click further along the line. You want that to I'm going to make that stay the same, so it's going slow motion for a bit. Then it's going to slow down again. Then it's going to stay like that for a while. Then it can start to pick up. So basically the middle is, is normal real time and if you go down it's slow and then it's fast at the top. You may need to get used to it. So that's insert video envelopes. Try to remember that because you just followed it. Nearly done. Nearly done. Look at that ball. <laughs> so if you just rendered it out, hit space. See that it goes really fast then all of a sudden goes in fact I'm gonna make that more dramatic and it's gonna be lowered down but these one should be lowered up maybe do it again I oh, know I'm not gonna do it again I'm just gonna to go to draft auto and play it through that still lags a bit that's pretty embarrassing but Anyway, you get the picture. Uh, if you drag it below 100%, it will become slow. And just double click on the green line to create intervals. And it makes make some ramped slow motion. Good in film. Uh, if you if used correctly and effectively, it can look very professional. But that's a whole other matter. Anyway, that's about it for me, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.